production. Good evening. Welcome to Living Room Productions as we present Season 3, Episode 2, Frady and the Pesky Kid. Pronoun Antecedent Agreement, Rule Number 1. As you know, a pronoun must have what when you write? Hmm? Do you remember what it needs? It needs an antecedent. It needs an antecedent to be clear so that you're really communicating and so that you sound smart. Okay? Nobody's going to know what you're talking about and you're not going to sound smart unless your uh, pronoun has an antecedent. Also, your pronoun has to be equal. This is today's important word, equal to its antecedent. By that I mean if your pronoun is a guy, then your antecedent has to be masculine. It has to be a guy. If it's talking about Frady, it has to be he. If it's talking about um, Ellen, it has to be she. So it has to be uh, equal to its, uh, the pronoun has to be equal to its antecedent in gender. Okay. It also has to be uh, equal to its pronoun in number. So in gender, whether it's a guy or a girl, and also in number, how many it is, okay? Number means, the word number, when we're talking about things in grammar, means how many are you talking about? Is it singular or plural? Okay? So, it needs to be equal in gender and equal in number. Here's an example. The little girls came to visit. I need a pronoun here because I want to start talking about... Uh, the little girls. So what would I put? If I'm talking about the little girls, what pronoun... I don't want to put the little girls wanted to play with Frady Cat. What pronoun would I need? I'll need something that is plural because this the, these people are more than one. The antecedent is more than one. Girls is more than one. So I'll put they. They wanted to play with Frady Cat. But, and here I don't want to say Frady Cat again. Frady De Cat doesn't like loud little kids. So what pronoun am I going to use? I can't use they because it's talking about one thing. It's singular. Frady Cat. So it can't be they. I can't put she because Frady Cat's a guy. So it can't be she. So what pronoun would I put? It needs to be equal in gender and in number. So the only one that would, would fit would be he doesn't like loud little kids. Okay? So the little girls came to visit. They wanted to play with Frady Cat, but he doesn't like loud little kids. These pronouns agree with their antecedents in both gender, whether it's a guy or girl, and in number, how many there are. Now I'm going to talk about one little girl. Tiffany poked Tiffany's fingers at Frady Cat as Frady Cat lay on the couch. Okay, well, now I need some pronouns because that's not just not the way we talk. We need some pronouns here. So, But they need to agree, the pronouns need to agree with their antecedents in gender and in number. So here, when, I, when Tiffany poked, this one is going to be a possessive pronoun because... They're Tiffany's fingers. She's possessing them. So it's going to be either uh, their fingers, his fingers, her fingers, or its fingers. Which one would you choose? Yeah, you're right. It'll have to be her fingers. Because it can't be their fingers because it's only one little girl. That's, that's number. It's singular, so it has to be singular. It has to be a singular possessive pronoun. And it, she's a girl. Tiffany is definitely a girl name. I've never heard a boy called Tiffany uh, yet. I may someday, but I haven't yet. So it needs to be a girl that in gender it needs to agree. At Frady Cat. 
okay, I have I can call a Freddy cat a girl. I don't think it appreciate it much. Or and put she, or I can put he, or I can put him. So Freddy pointed her, poked her fingers at him as he lay on the couch. Okay? This is Frady Cat. Tiffany poked her fingers at Frady Cat as Frady Cat lay on the couch. Here I need at him because this is a prone this is a preposition. This is the object of the preposition. As he lay on the couch. When Frady Cat suddenly stood up, Tiffany jerked back and screamed. Okay? When Frady Cat, what's the pronoun that I need for Frady Cat here? He's a guy, and he's just one person, so it needs to be masculine in gender, and it needs to be singular in number. So when he suddenly stood up, and this is this antecedent is Tiffany, it needs to be singular, because she's just one little girl, and it needs to be feminine. It needs to be a girl. So what would it be? She jerked back and screamed. Okay, next sentence. Frady jumped down haughtily and ran up the stairs to escape the noise. Tiffany followed yelling, Kitty back! Kitty back! Kitty back! Okay, what pronoun? I don't want to say Tiffany again. Uh, although I could at this point. But I think I'll just say, use a pronoun. Who followed? Would it, what, what would be the, the pronoun for Tiffany? Would it be a guy he followed, yelling kitty back, kitty back, kitty back? Or would it be they followed? I'm just talking about Tiffany. So that wouldn't agree in number because they is plural and Tiffany is singular. So I know you're saying it in your minds there at home while you're watching this on the computer. Of course, it's she. She followed yelling kitty back, kitty back, kitty back. So let me just reiterate, they... Pronoun has to have an antecedent when you write. To be clear and to sound smart, because that's important, you want to sound smart, your pronoun has to be equal to its antecedent. It has to be equal in number, whether it's a guy or a girl. Forgot that L there. Guy or a girl. And it also has to be equal in number. How many? Whether it's singular or plural. Okay? Bye now.